some of you are dealing with some very heavy shit right now, personally and professionally. And you're running a story like, but I've already done the work on this. And why is this coming up again? And I should, I should know better by now. I know I've done all of this reading, this coaching, this working, and you know, really beating yourself up for having the challenge, let alone the actual challenge. You're, you're, all, you're beating yourself up over having the challenge in addition to having the challenge. And here's the thing, um, I've got good news and I've got good news. <laughs> Depends how you want to view it, right? Um, you are never getting rid of a challenge. So if you're sitting here beating yourself up right now because I should know better, I've done the work, why is this still coming up? I'm going to give you a reality check, which is you're never losing this challenge. Never. And you can look at that as a blessing and a curse. It's up to you how you want to see this. <clears throat> now, the reason you're never getting rid of it is because the law of conservation of energy, we know nothing dies. Yes, not even humans, but you know that's a discussion for another day. But we know that nothing ever dies. So you never lose a trait, you never lose an action, you never lose an inaction in your life. It is conserved through space and time. What you do do is you expand your understanding and awareness about the challenge you solve the problems at this concentric sphere level of awareness relative to that challenge. And then you promote to the next degree of understanding where a new set of problems and awareness is waiting for you about that particular challenge. So if you're telling yourself, I shouldn't be experiencing this, um, yes, you should be. And I really encourage you to have a look at your level of understanding around this challenge that you're experiencing right now and the degree of the challenge that you are facing right now relative to that, look at the differences between now and say two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, when you were 15. Go all the way back because you've never lost this experience. You just keep expanding your understanding and awareness of it. But if you get caught in this beating yourself up about I should know better, I shouldn't be doing this, I've done all this work, I've spent all this money, I've invested my time and energy, why is this still coming up? You're getting caught down in where the masses are, where you're getting so consumed by what you haven't done rather than the vision for your future and how you can use this challenge to further expand not only yourself but your mission in this world. So that's number one. And I made a list because I want to make sure, I made some dot points because I want to make sure that I don't forget anything for you, right? Okay, the other thing that I want you to think about is this. If you think about any of the great leaders in the world, <clears throat> whoever you consider to be a great leader, and I'm going to say something controversial here, which is I like to use Trump as an example. I know people don't like Trump, and this isn't about if you like or love him or hate him. I'm talking about what a leader is. And a leader is somebody who can be influential. And when you look at, say, a Trump or a Gandhi, whoever you want to pick, but an influential leader is able to embrace all parts of themselves. They're saint and they're sinner. Because if you can't do that yourself, you're going to be run by the rest of the world and their opinions. And I suspect that part of the reason why you're beating yourself up right now about I should know better, I shouldn't be where I am, I've done all this work, is because you have taken on an expectation from someone else other than yourself. So please come home to yourself first and look at what you have achieved relative to this challenge because you keep promoting yourself as you get the next degree of awareness about it. And it starts to become easier for you to manage it rather than it running you. But it also allows you to serve other people. This is why people walk around thinking they're an imposter because you think, oh, but I haven't figured this out myself. Yes, you have at the next degree of awareness. And all of the people that are coming to work with you are at the other concentric sphere levels of awareness relative to this challenge. Have a look at the, the way you serve people and make the links. Maybe right now you're experiencing a sense of abandonment and fear of abandonment. And by the way, there is actually several of you that have shared this with me just this week. So I'm going to use that as the example. 
And maybe you're beating yourself up because you're thinking, but I thought I dealt with this fear of abandonment. And it will show up in your business, by the way, even if this is a personal thing. It's showing up energetically with how you either repel or attract individuals to work with you. And so if you're having that experience come up, how can you use this to serve your clients? Because guess what? They have the same experience. They're experiencing similar concerns, similar fears. And sometimes they're not even consciously aware of it until you put a message in front of them. And then it speaks to their inner wisdom. So please use what you're going through to be able to better serve. Please have a look at how you've already transformed your awareness and your ability to solve this problem at multiple levels of awareness and degrees. And then the other thing that I would encourage you to do is have a look at how you already have mastered this thing. Where in your life are you mastering what it is that you're beating yourself up about? So if it's a fear of abandonment, look at the seven areas of life. Where are you mastering your fear of abandonment? What area? Because remember, you're not losing it. It's just shape shifting. It's transforming. And equally, if you have, if you're perceiving that you've got trait being fear of abandonment, you also, law of contrast, you can't perceive you've got this unless you're comparing it to its opposite. So what is the opposite of abandonment or fear of abandonment for you, not anyone else? And then go and look at what areas of my life am I mastering that trait in, whatever the opposite is, so that you can see the balance. This is not about getting on a high. It's not about being positive. The positive thinking movement is a farce. What goes up must come down. If you are trying to be positive and happy, you are going to fall into a hole. And to the degree of this fantasy around one side, fan, uh, you know, positivity and happiness, you're going to experience the opposite, the nightmare, the down. So your job is to keep bringing your perceptions and your life into balance. And the quicker that you can do that, the quicker you expand your service and your mission. So to wrap up, right, um, you are going, you can't destroy within you or around you without also building simultaneously at the same time. So please make, please find the energy, please make the commitment to yourself to get to business builder sessions. And if you're working one on one with me, please make the commitment to yourself to use me outside of session. You have that access to me um, to keep expanding quickly, rapidly. But in terms of the business builder sessions, there is a lot to be said for collective energy. And it's really, really beautiful when you turn up to these sessions and other people are sharing things and asking questions and you're seeing yourself in that and you're tackling problems quicker because rather than just tackling what's going on for you in this moment, you're tackling the things that are coming up for you that you're not even consciously aware of yet. This is how we expand individually, but also as a community. So please get to these sessions. Don't let anything else get in the way. My hour of powers are booked into my calendar and I don't take client meetings. I don't drop my son off to school. I don't, nothing else gets in the way of those sessions. If you want to serve humanity, you have to take an action every single day consistently that connects you with the right people and creates those conversations so you can expand your mission. That is what the business builder sessions are there for you to do, but to do them together so that you're not alone and you get these things solved for yourself quicker.